welcome back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, my countrymen, my first guest tonight is an artist, actor, author, and activist who is now making his Broadway debut in the play Between Riverside and Crazy. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Common. <laughs> to see you. Happy holidays. Great to see you. Happy holidays. Are you, have you having a happy time of the year for you? Yes, man. I love Christmas time. It's like, it just makes me feel like a kid. I just love that people are in a joyous space overall. And the streets are packed oh, right man. now. I haven't seen New York like this in three or four years. I mean, yeah. and, and doing Broadway, getting to that theater during this time is yeah. It's a struggle sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I, heard, I actually heard, I want to get to this in, in, in a minute. I want to get to that story in a minute. I heard you had a little trouble yeah, getting little to the trouble. theater on time, but let's let, let's earn it. First, yeah. ev ev every, everyone, of course, knows who you are now, but 30 years ago, when your first album came out, people didn't necessarily know who Common was. Your first album was Can I Borrow a Dollar? There You Are. <laughs> 20 years old. Yeah. Just take off the beard, you look exactly the same. Man, please, I wish, but uh, that's clean living, you. I guess. Thank you. Yeah, I mean. Now I you do said my best. you said back then you said a lot of hip hop artists don't think expressing what really exists in their life is going to get sales or respect, but to me that's the only way to win. Why do you think that you were that self assured of a twenty year old? Because not every twenty year old has that sense of confidence yeah. in their own message and their own mission. Well, I think it was um, the love I got from my mother my belief in God, my belief in myself. And I was surrounded, I, I was in an environment that it kind of encouraged me to be able to be myself and be free. So well, when I- Well, describe that environment. Like, these are your friends? Who that, was These that? were my friends, and it was great to have a peer group like that was my age that, were, that would allow me to be myself and, you know, vice versa. We all kind of supported each other, you know, as young men, young black men, just being like, okay, you into this? Okay, cool. Like, and and you different? Okay, cool. So it was, it kind of provided that platform for me to say, hey, I can go out in the world and be myself because I'm not afraid of what people will say because I have love here at the foundation. That's that's interesting. Yeah. I think when I talk to young artists, yeah. when I talk to young artists or young people of, of any description, one of the things I really want them to know is that there's a place for you, as you are. That There's a is, place for the you you are. That is so powerful, Stephen. And it's like, the more and more we encourage our young people to know that, like, hey, you can be as unique and different. Um, it's just about being, finding that truth within yourself. Mm -hmm. And and it takes, you know, I'm, I can't say I had it all together. And, and still, I'm, I'm still growing and learning. But at 20 years old, I was just like, hey, I'm going to go on this path. I have, a, I have a belief in myself. I have a dream. And I feel I'm purpose to do this. So if some people say, like, because that first album came out, and a lot of people didn't know that album. You know, we, we talk about it and celebrate it for 30 years now, but I mean, it, I could celebrate the 30-year anniversary, but it wasn't, like, popular or nothing. It was like I had, yes. I had to work. You, you got there. Yeah, you got, got there. there. The got hard there. work, you got there. Yeah. 30 years after that album, you're making your debut as an actor on Broadway. Uh, right there. The show is called Between Riverside and Crazy at the, at the Hayes Theater. Uh, a, why did it take you so long to get to Broadway? What were you holding back? Oh. And why this one? I was dreaming of being on Broadway for a long time, just doing theater. Mm -hmm. I really, really wanted to do theater. Um, this play, this writer, Stephen Atlee Girgis, is one of the great American playwrights. I read this play and was like, I want to be a part of this. I had to audition to get the role because he, Stephen, Stephen actually told me, he was like, man, you two evolved for this role. I, I said, man, listen, I'm not perfect, man. I'm working, I'm trying to get myself together. I can play this character you want. So I got the audition and, and, and I went in and, and did what I had to do. And I'm so grateful because this, this story is like a story where you meet people who are not all good, not all bad. And you, and you meet this father and son it's based around a father and son relationship where 
the mother has just died, the wife has just died, and the father and son move in together, and they're trying to bond, build their relationship, but they never had a great relationship. And the son who I play, is bring, I'm bringing in people into our home, and we all got these things that we've done in our lives that we want to let go of, and it's this culmination of all these New York personalities coming together in this one apartment, and the growth of that, and it doesn't like, it's not all, it's funny, it's very funny, but it has a lot of depth to it. And I just was like, this is the type of story and writing that I want to be a part of. I love being in that theater and people are laughing, but they leave changed. They leave like they've felt some real life, raw story of people and human beings that are not all perfect, but want to be better. So, I mean, I look at work that I want to do. The work that I want to do as an actor and as an artist is work that changes people's lives, that inspires people, but also entertains. It's what you do. <laughs> yeah, it's what you do. Nice of you to say. Yeah, Thank you very that's much. That's Well, can, can I tell I, you one thing before you ask me a question, too? Of course you can. One of, our, one of my castmates just told me she has a crush on you, so I'm just, her name is Rosal, so I got to say this. She said, he's so brilliant. I got one of those crushes on Steven, so I just had to let you know she got a crush on you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get arrested when I was a young actor. And I'm curious what the first play you did was. Even like in school or something, what was the first thing you did? Oh, the first play I did was Christmas Carol. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. What yeah. were you in the Christmas Carol? I was, I was Tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so you're really young. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I was really young. It was fifth grade. And I did the play and I gave my sweat and tears and I gave my soul to it. Tiny Tim has heart. And as soon as I finished the play, my mother kept saying, boy, my best friend, boy, Derek was so good in that play. Derek was so good. And I was like, I mean, she barely gave me any, like, compliment. I was like, I guess I better do something else, play basketball or do, because this acting Hip-hop thing, it is. Yeah, hip-hop it has to be, because uh, she didn't give me any love. But now she's bringing 140 people to Broadway to watch this play on Saturday night, our friends and family night. <laughs> Well, we have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more Common, everybody. Stick around. 